Hey guys, Sly here, and welcome to another part of Resident Evil Outbreak. And the last part, I cropped it very badly, so all the dialogue you're seeing was cut off. Unfortunately, I don't think I can fix that, but no matters, because I think I fixed it right now. So, right now we're going to do below freezing point. Let's hit OK right now. And for this part, we're going to play as Yoko. And I'm going to explain why in a bit. Yeah. So let's do it. And I think there's a cutscene, so I'm going to mute my mic. All right, so this is her knapsack. Now, unfortunately, you cannot... Oh, no, cutscene. Anyways. Did you find anything? Hey! What I was saying was um you can't really use anything in her knapsack unless it's in your physical inventory. So there's that. That's unfortunate, but you can easily swap it out. Oh, another cutscene. Damn, son. So, yeah. So, we're going to be encountering this chick, I think, throughout. I don't know. I played through all this once, so it's kind of, like, relatively new for me. Elevator with a broken control panel. So, there's another um, ability that Yoko has, where if you go into your stance, and then you press circle, she crawls away like that, and it extends... As, uh, it extends when you like hold down the circle button when you like 
did the move. Are you feeling? Did you find anything new? Oh my god. So let's keep going up the elevator shaft. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, this... Excuse me. I thought this, um... Uh... This level is pretty cool. Hi. Oh, let's crawl through here. Come on. Hey, hey! Hey there. B7 East Passage. Now, this place is like really hard to find things. So, expect me to stop in the middle of this and pull up a walkthrough guide. Because this will get uh, confusing. Where's George? That's, that's my question. All right, let's go through here and check out the laboratory. Let's do it. So what have we gotten here? Hey there. Green herb, yep, I'm gonna take that. Hey there. Just do it. Hello there. I've seen this sketch already, you already have it in the file. Really? Do I have all my files carried over? Oh, I know chemical bottles. I think you could throw them at enemies. Five auto rounds. You'll be number three. Uh -huh. Oh, that's to kill the plants. Because in this one, the, yeah, it's kind of the same. Four five zero nine. to open from this side. Come on. Hi. Come on. South Passage. Yeah, let's get out of there. I'm on caution. You guys are wondering why I chose Yoko Give me a break. instead of Kevin. Well, coming up in a bit, you'll speak to a researcher. And basically, the researcher will recognize Yoko because as you saw in that cutscene, in one of those uh, opening cutscenes, Yoko actually was like a part of Umbrella. And she ba like the researcher like recognizes her and then will give her a magnum pistol, which is basically uh, what you might call it. Uh, the lightning hawk from the first Resident Evil 2. Okay, we got the UMB number three. Uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, I think the heart rate on loading screens get faster and faster. Depends on the damage that you took. Only found some first aid stuff. Ducked. 
So yeah, of course you're gonna be seeing the plants that look like vaginas. I don't want that. Someone give me first aid spray. Yes, save me. Take this. It's joking my gratitude. Oh, I got a shotgun. Cool. Yep, there it is. The ladder is blocked by a gigantic plant. Yes, that is true. So yeah, you can like do certain things with survivors. Like you could like give them a first aid spray and they'll probably give you something in exchange for that. Hold on, where haven't we been? Chemical storage. Alright, so basically what I'm trying to do is trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> any sign of, I got bigger balls than any of you. <laughs> that That's a pretty savage uh, response. Handgun rounds. B7 chemical storage. Maybe that's where we have to go to get the UMB, whatever it's called. I recognize this kind of puzzle because something was like that in the very first Resident Evil. And I've always been able to speedrun the very first game because I can beat it in under three hours. You know, because I've memorized all the puzzles, I've know how to get the best ending, all that good stuff. I found some information. Gray chemical bottle. All right, so I believe. Enter office four five oh nine. Four five oh nine. Just what I needed. Wait. No shit. Thank you so much. What happens to the other chemical? What? Oh. <sighs> I thought I completely lost that. Hi. I would have been so upset.
May I have it? This is it! <sighs> okay, there we go. Well, here's something bizarre. What happened? I put I that in my knapsack. Excuse me. All right, so we can go to that plant now and kill it, or wipe out the mines that are on the ladder. So let's do that, shall we? So we have to go here, here, and all the way to duct again. So let's do that. Let's kill this plant and find a way, you know, off the seventh floor. Or B7 floor. <laughs> so we're gonna go through here and through here. Yeah, the whole right analog stick, like I said in the last episode, is for like, for like, commands. Like, if you click it in, I believe, it says wait. And then pressing down will, will tell them to go wherever you're facing. And pressing up on the right analog stick will say go. And basically all of that. And I believe you hold like L2 and then press it there and you'll like call their name. What? Change call. Yes. Thought there was a gleam there. Uh, I must be losing it. So we're going to go up to this plant and use the V-Jolt. And it kills... Oh. <laughs> and it kills the plant. Alright, let's get up this ladder. Oh, there you are, George. I was wondering where you were at. How did you get up here? Hmm. By the way, there's a typewriter if you want to quit and come back. I'm glad they're all armed and stuff, which saves me the trouble of having to find stuff for them. There's a camera. Don't worry, there's no stealth elements. The same Metal Gear, so you can run past it. So basically what we're trying to do in this scenario is find a way out, basically. And just... The door has been severely damaged. Frozen Wrench. You are gonna need this. So, because we need to find a, like, area. Hold your horses. No. No way. We need to, like, find, like, a sink that has warm water in it. And we're supposed to put the frozen wrench in there so it defrosts it. And we're supposed to use that on some bolts and stuff. Did you find something? It is bolted shut. So we need to use the wrench on that. So, so sad warning signs. Yeah, this is the trouble I had trying to figure out the code. So I looked it up. Yeah, I know it's considered cheating, but I couldn't for the life of me figure out what it was. So we're going to go through here. Uh, B6F East Passage. So let's go through here and see what's 
over here. Hey there. Uh, break room. Yes, yes. This is where we need to be. So let's go to the break room. Survival knife, and uh, la, 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 la. Come on, this way. This way, man. Locked is a simple lock. Let's see what's, what's in here. Antivirus. Hey. That's an interesting. Um, oh, get out of there. Yeah, you can sometimes hide from zombies and lockers. But. Yeah, the antivirus is basically. Oh, it's the water's still quite warm. It's usable. Oh. So basically, what was I saying before? Basically, the antivirus gauge. I know I'm saying basically way too many times. So in retro, well, ah, my vocabulary is screwed, man. So just put it this way, the antivirus gauge is something that you use to temporarily halt the virus gauge. Because this antivirus, it says stop viruses growth for a short time. And when you get knocked down from danger, you don't die. You crawl around and someone has to help you up. But during that time, the virus gauge raises like very fast. So you really need someone to help you up and that's basically ooh hold up oh I remember here yeah you're supposed to get like a I don't need a survival knife, so I'm good. There's a hole to insert something. Hello there. Hey there. Dear God. Anyone? No. Hanging rounds. Cool. I believe we could do that to the ladder at the duct. So we're gonna do that. Well, here's something. I just come on. So let's go through there. I'm sorry if I'm not talking as much, I'm just trying to make sure I'm getting everything all right so next we have to go to the duct so let's do that <laughs> as soon as i said that <laughs> Alyssa's like oh, no shit that was pretty funny so yeah let's let's do it so there's a hole to insert something. There we go. And it completes the ladder. What happened? Don't believe this. 
Oh, I think she got wrecked. She got wrecked, man. So what we have to do now is try to defrost the whole place. <laughs> she keeps answering me, no shit. Okay, so I think we're on the fifth floor. No shit. Uh, B5F area C passage. So let's go through here. Yeah, this place is confusing. It's almost like a maze. I mean, I bet with like time after I like play it over and over and over and over and over again, I probably would be able to figure out how to do it. You know what, I'm just gonna use that. Oh, come on. Just do it. Okay, I'm on caution. So I'm gonna... Excuse me. Hold on, there's something there. No! I heard, I saw something gleam on the floor, so I was trying to grab it. Or at least I thought there was something gleaming on the floor. What? Oh well. No shit. Just do it. Hey. I can't stop bleeding. Thank you very much. Grab it. Or not. No shit. Okay, she's on caution, so she's not too badly damaged. Entry guest. Hello. Come on. You. What the hell? <laughs> That's funny, like hearing them like say a whole bunch of stuff. That makes no sense. Ooh, this is the researcher that we talked to, I believe, that gives us the Magnum Pistol. Are you Yoko? I'm surprised. I didn't think you'd come back. Oh, okay, went too fast. I hear Monica's also added a sample, but we don't know it's out of the league. The sample is Dr. Person Manager, so you know. Thank you, man. It's a good world to live by. Take this with you. I don't need it anymore. So, it's a Magnum handgun. <coughs> Bless me. Which is, uh, basically... Wait, she's got a shotgun now? What? Operate it. Hey, you. A card reader. So that I to walk. Looks like I need a card key. Well, that's bad. Seems to have passed out. What? Come on. Never. Oh, she's giving me sass. Okay, so we need a card. We need a key card. So we can't go there just yet. Okay, I don't think we need the wrench anymore. Okay. 
Okay, I don't need the bottle anymore, I don't think. So let's keep going. So I need to figure out where to go. Yeah, this can get very confusing. So do expect me to take a little while here. Shutters down. I wonder what happened here. File lies on the floor. There we go. Uh, this first day has been changed. Floor computer room. I think I found something. Yeah, that's the thing with Resident Evil games. You gotta pay attention. To, like notes and stuff because they do give you hints and clues on what to enter Just do it. so I don't remember where to put those down at Excuse me. but yeah go to hell. let's go in here and there's another thing we have to do which is like defrost um the area because like i said like before we start playing this the whole place is encased in ice so let's find a way to do that Ooh, yeah these hunters as soon as you defrost these place yeah they come alive and start attacking you and they are very very annoying to deal with Door is broken. I'm talking like almost stun locking you, if I remember correctly. Main shaft. Hey, it's a main shaft. So let's go through here. In fact, no, I don't want to go through here just yet. I need to go back to that one area where you can like enter passcodes because I'm trying to remember where I haven't been. Handgun rounds, yes I'll take that. All right, I have to go to the sixth floor, it looks like. So let's do that. Just trying to make sure I'm doing everything correctly. So we're going to go down to fifth. And then we're going to go down to six. Because I believe that is where we need to go. Just do it. Excuse me. Sixth floor south passage. Just making sure I got everything, so very important for me to do so oh holy crap where did you come from okay we need to start running uh, sixth floor security yep right here so we're gonna go in here we're gonna enter the codes and we're gonna peace out so sixth floor security center let's go Whoa, man, let's go. So we're going to go through here. We are going to enter the passwords. And yeah. All right, where's the place to do it? I believe this is it. 
So, let's see. Staff memo. No, 4509. No, monthly passcode. Uh, C582. C582. The computer room has been unlocked. And... C4 East Area Passage A194. So A194. So shutter number 17 has been unlocked. So remind me what shutter 17 is. So let's try to go through the vents again and let's see if one of those shutters has been unlocked. And I think it was best to do that first because I believe um, there's still hunters around that area. So... Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that they're still defrosted, not defrosted, but frozen, because they will mess you up if um, they try to do stuff. Alright, so let me see where we're going next. So I believe we are, oh yeah, we're going to the no B5 area. No, don't go up, don't go down. Yeah, if you hit X at any point while you're moving up and down, yeah, your character will move all the way down. So make sure they are all the way up before you hit X. Because then you have to wait for them to climb all the way down. Then they get off before you could be able to climb back up. Which really sucks. So, yeah. Alyssa. George. So I'm pretty sure past your shutter number 17. See if this worked. Excuse me. Just do it. Where in the hell is shutter number seventeen? Never mind. Let's just go back. Give me a break. Give me a break. Let's just get out of here. It's been like around 40 minutes. Holy crap. Looks like no rest for the wicked. Yep, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Did you just tell me no, Alyssa? That's rude. Alright. Let's get up here. Okay, it seems I fixed the sound in this, which is really good. Excuse me? Because I believe in the first part, it sounded a little ear rapey. So I'm glad I fixed the sound. I've been using like a K World like GM220 like capture card. I was thinking about trying to get a better one, but I don't know. I just don't want to spend my money all willy nilly. 
so let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Turntable. I guess we're ready to hey. go here. Now you have to watch out because there's these moths that attack you and they can inflict poison damage on you. So we're going to run and make sure we do not get killed. Yeah, you can hear them floating around right now. Alright, we're gonna reload our shotgun real quick. Okay, if we need the wrench, it's back here. Yeah, there's the moth, so we need to not die and get hit. So, B4F turntable. This is where the, the chick was at. So, what we need to do is escape in that. Oh, come on. There's a big scratch like a den. Ooh, I wonder what could have done that. No shit. Just do it. So yeah, this is the place where we need to go as soon as everything's defrosted. I'd say just leave the turntable key there. The lab car key. I believe this is what we need next. So there's that. So let's see what's on this side. Nothing. I don't need to operate it now. So what we need to do is go through the ducts again to reach that area. And I believe then we are good. Like I said, watch out for those things because they can inflict poison damage. And before we go back there, let's investigate all the other places. And it's not like in Resident Evil, like the classic ones where you instantly reload like a whole clip when uh, you reload. Because like I said, Oh, I actually needed my physical inventory, I forgot. You actually have to reload it one by one. Unless you have actually have a handgun magazine. And then in that case, um, you can reload it quickly. Low temperature laboratory. Oh yeah, I forgot. You don't need to measure your fingerprint. Because Yoko is already an employee. Like I said, being certain people in this game has its benefits. Oh. 
not give it to her. I mean, she might be using it all willy-nilly, but it's whatever. Keep them, you know, loaded and stuff. Just do it. Now, time to figure out where to use the blowtorch on. So let's figure that out. Me. It's tightly shut. That's very unfortunate. Oh yeah, I know where you need to use the blowtorch on because there's like a guy frozen with his hand <laughs> on like a lever, and we had the blowtorch. <gasps> we had to blowtorch it. Why isn't he reloading his gun? There's no time left. Stop the device. So yeah, this is where the blowtorch comes in. Is working correctly. Good. Glad to hear. Just do it. I can't believe this why you create such terrible things. I think I found something. I just had a thought. So let's go through. Well, here's something bizarre. Oh crap. Yep. There's the hunters. <laughs> yeah. They're going to get very annoying. I'm going to tell you that right now. My own personal private ride. Hope. Oh, cutscene. Bobbity bobbity boop. So yeah, I thought it was going to be an actual cutscene with speaking, but never mind that. Okay, turntable. Well, I don't think we're going to go there just yet. We're going to check out the fifth floor computer room. But yeah, the thing called Hope, basically it triggers, I know I don't know if I should say self-destruct. Oh yeah, by the way, you might want to run immediately, because <laughs> these hunters will 
mess you up. Wait, I don't think I was meant to go there. Oh, that hunter followed me through. That was scary. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I shouldn't have really been shooting them as much as I did. I'm pretty sure I should have just like ran past them. Yeah, let's go to the duct. And darn Alyssa's gonna be wasting all her ammo. Over there. All right. Here's something peculiar. Let's not trigger the hunter just yet. No shit. There we go. Run, 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 run. See, we don't need to go just yet because we didn't use the turntable. But if you use like the turntable key, you know, on that panel, then the start down will count or the countdown will start. And basically, you have to put up with like waves and waves of enemies, which is kind of bad. For fifth floor. Area C passage. Area B passage computer room. Oh, never mind. I'm just being an idiot. Nah. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure it's clear we don't need to check that place out. So, let's go. Let's just go. Let's go. So we're gonna go through here. We're gonna head back to the turntable. So let's go through here. Let's avoid the hunters, because they are very, very dangerous. Alright, where are you, you sumbish? Yeah, there you are. I'm running past you. How much ammo does George have? Come on. Give me a break. Elevator doesn't seem to Oh yeah. Pretty sure that's what it triggers. Is there anything here? Yeah, it's just the key. The ice has started melting, yep. Turntable key. Will you do it? All passengers, please, please hurry.
Alright, so we basically just chill out here. Well, it looks like she got severely wrecked with the, um, the G-Virus. Okay, George. You can have your ammunition back. What are you guys doing over there? Yo! Whoa! Whoa! I'm on danger. Wait, what? Did I just die? What? Yo! Dude! That has never happened to me before. Well, I'm gonna, damn, well, I'm gonna be right back as soon as we get to where we left off, so, yeah, I will see you when we get there all right so we are back and unfortunately as you can see right there Alyssa did die At least he got some ammo for his guns, at least. At least he got rid of the broken shotgun. Yeah, we already saw this cutscene. So, yeah. I don't think... Uh, George is going to be around long because he's poisoned by those moths that we fought in the thing. So, yeah, he's pretty much getting destroyed right now. <sighs> Wish there's a quicker way to do this.
I must move the turntable first. Well, I guess we're just gonna sit here for 30 more minutes. So, I guess we're all suited up. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we are going. And another cutscene triggers. So dang, in case you didn't catch it earlier, she got infected with the G embryo. And yeah. Wow. The marshalling yard. Mwah. Why don't we head back inside, man? Oh, yep, and here's the boss. I probably shouldn't have ran back because I think I'm stuck now. So that's great. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not stuck. Oh, with one smack, I'm already on caution. Help me, please! Can anyone hear me? Come on, is anyone there? Crap. Come on. I'm afraid 
George is going to be a goner on this. George. George, grab it. Gosh darn it. I just had a thought. What shall I do? He's already on danger. Gosh darn it. Oh, did I get him? Yes. It's a bummer that I lost George, though. And here's the ending cutscene. So yeah, we finally did it. So, in the next part, I will see you guys in um, the hive. And it's going to be a hard one. So, I might rage. I don't know. But until then, I will see you guys in the next part. I'm out.